Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I wanted to do an updated sneaker collection video because I know it's been a while since I did my first one. Um, that was almost a year ago and a lot of the sneakers that I had then I ended up selling so that I could uh, really move to LA. So <laughs> I'm here now. I um, have some newer sneakers that I'm going to show you. There's a few that were in the last collection video. So if you saw it already, I'm going to show a few of those again. Um, but most of them are all new from this past year. Uh, so I'm really excited to do this video for you guys. Let's do it. So I'm going to start with the Jordans, then I'm going to go to Nike shoes in general, uh, then I'll do Adidas and then anything else toward the end. So the first pair is actually my first pair of Jordans that I ever bought. Um, these are the Aqua 8s and I love these. These were in my last sneaker collection video. I don't plan on getting rid of these at any point. Love them, wear them all the time, one of my favorite shoes. The next one, these I don't believe were in my last sneaker video. Um, this is a pair of ones that I got last year. I actually bought these used. I got them on eBay. Um, I think I did a video about them before, but this is what they look like. I, I like these a lot, but they kind of rub on the back of my foot, so I don't really wear these too much. I, this is my only pair of ones, and I really want to get some more ones, um, but these are the only pair that I have for now. So the next ones I have, I've had for about six or seven months or so. These ones were not my last sneaker collection video. These are the 14s, and I believe the color is called Sport Blue, um, but I'm not 100% sure, and I really bought these because I like the back. So the back has the 23 on it. These are just really cool, different looking shoes to me. I don't wear them a ton, but I do like having them in my collection. So these next ones I actually wore for the first time yesterday. I had these sitting in a box since they released. Um, I really like these. These are the Red 11s. They're just, they're just perfect to me. I love these so much, and with the right outfit, it really just sets it off. Love these. I know a lot of people have them, um, and I did wait a while to wear them, but I think that now that I've worn them out, um, I'll probably keep wearing them quite a bit. <laughs> I love these. So anyone that knows me knows that the 8s are my favorite silhouette, so this is another pair that I have. I actually have two pairs. Um, I really hope to get the Dornbecker 8s pretty soon, but I haven't ordered those yet, but I, I probably will. Um, but these are the gray ones. These are really, really nice. I love these. They're super soft. If you guys haven't felt them, the only complaint that I have about these is because they're so soft. I don't like to buckle the um, the I don't like to buckle the little straps on the top on any of my shoes. So I, when I leave them loose, it hangs over really easy because the material is so soft. So I love these a lot. I wear these all the time. Some of my favorite shoes. And I think that's all for Jordans. I'll move on to what else we have for just Nike shoes in general. Um, these are my KDs, which I showed in the last video. I'm pretty sure uh, these are the Aunt Pearls. These are some of my <laughs> these are some of my favorite shoes. I absolutely love these. Um, it took me a really long time to find these in my size at a decent price, since I didn't buy them when they first released. But I love these. The wing really makes this shoe. I get so many compliments on these when I wear them too. They really any outfit that you put these with, it kind of sets them off. These are so so perfect to me. One of my favorite shoes. And then the next ones are these. So these ones I haven't worn very often. I bought these a few months ago when I was in Hawaii, and I got them because they were on sale for I think like $60, which is a really good price for these, but um, I really like the color too. The color's kind of goldish, but they're a little bit too big for me, so I think I'm probably going to end up selling these at some point. Um, I really do like them. They're super comfortable, but they just slide off the back of my foot. Um, they're about a half size bigger than what I normally buy in Nike, but I bought them because they were on sale and that was kind of a mistake. Um, but I do, I do really like them. If they were my size, I, I would probably enjoy these a lot more. Alright, so I am a huge fan of Hirachis. I have a few pairs I'm going to show in this video. My black pair, my all black pair is completely beat up. Uh, I wore them paintballing, I wear them hiking, I wear them everywhere. So those ones I'm not even going to show in this video, they're trashed. Um, but these are the red ones that I got not that long ago. I actually got these in men's sizes because they didn't have the women's all red ones anymore. Um, but I really love these. These, are, these, are, these look really good on foot. Um, the all red is really just, it's lovely, it's beautiful. Love it. And then the other pair that I got, the other pair that I got recently for Hirachis are the white ones. They're not the all white. They're like a creamish color. So these are a little bit different. Um, I got these also when I was in Hawaii. These were on sale for about 60, 50, 60 dollars or something like that. Something ridiculously crazy. So I had to buy them. Um, I actually ended up wearing these a lot more than I thought I would. I thought I'd be scared to get them dirty. I thought that I'd kind of not really wear them too much, but. So far, I've loved them. These are great. Uh, these next ones I got at a Nike outlet, and I'm so happy that I found these in my size. I probably wouldn't have bought them if I would have had to pay retail for them, but I paid maybe $65 or something like that for these. Um, these are my Nike Up Tempos. I love these. These are so cute on foot, and they're very bulky, especially I know that a lot of girls don't like to tend to wear bulkier shoes. 
Um, I really don't care. I'm, I just wear whatever I like to wear. So these ones are so cute to me. Um, okay, so these next ones are some of my favorite shoes and I just want you guys to be able to appreciate them as much as I do. First of all, I absolutely love the box. Um, I love Air Forces. I love the Special Force line of Air Forces as well. And these are absolutely perfect because these are the, the Force is Female ones. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it says the Force is Female across the top, buckle strap, and then it also has it all across the back. So it says the Force is Female like a bunch of times on the back, and then even to set that off too. Sorry if you guys hear dogs barking. My window is open, and you can probably hear the dogs that are outside. <laughs> um, but the inside, you're probably not going to be able to see it, but the inside just says the Force is Female all up and through there. So it is so cute. I absolutely love these. These came out maybe a few months or so ago, and, and I had to get these. I actually returned a different pair of Special Forces in order to get these, because these are just, these are just perfect. <laughs> and then I think this is the last pair of Nikes that I have right now. Um, these ones I just got uh, yesterday, and I wore them for the first time today. It's actually a dress. I know that you can't really tell, but I wore that with these today. Um, they're super cute to me. I got these at Champs. And this is what they look like, the Nike Air Maxes. And this is like a suede material, if you can't tell on the camera. Um, but it's like a suede pink color. I absolutely love these. I crep protected them this morning so that I could wear them today. I got up super early so that I could make sure that they dried fully. Um, and I ended up wearing these out to an event today, which was really cool, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Um, it was a Nike pop-up type of event. It was a gallery. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute too because I got some things there that I want to show you guys. And then for my Adidas shoes, these ones I got not too long ago. I got these maybe a week or two weeks ago uh, when I went to the Adidas store out in Venice. And they look like this. So they look like just the original classic Adidas. And then on the back they have this pattern. And I thought this was so cute and I hadn't seen these in the store before. When I saw them I was like I, I absolutely have to get those. And the reason that I don't have my other Adidas anymore, the originals, I had the regular black back to them, um, they were just way too big on me. So I ended up getting a full size, just about smaller than what I normally wear in these because they were just way too loose. I had to get rid of them. I wasn't wearing them. And what's the point in having if you're not going to wear them? So I love these as a good replacement. Um, I figure they're going to match quite a few things with all the different colors on the back. I have not worn them yet, but I definitely plan on getting a lot of wear out of these. And then some of my favorites. So... These are my Yeezy 350s. I love these shoes. And really, I know everybody talks about how comfortable they are. They are comfortable. They're maybe not the most comfortable shoe that I've ever had in my life, um, but they are very comfortable. If you can find them for a decent price on resale, it's a really good purchase to make. They go with a lot of things, whatever colorway you like. Um, they are very comfortable and they're very worth it to me. I bought these maybe eight or nine months ago, and I've worn them a ton of times since. These are like my go-to casual Friday type of shoe, a weekend shoe, really doing anything because I'm not afraid to get them dirty. They're dark. Um, I actually just ordered a pair of Yeezy Calabasas too, so hopefully those are coming in soon. Ordered them off GOAT. Um, so when I get those, I'm going to do kind of a review and just got on foot for you guys too. All right, so now I'm going to go into sort of random brands that I have. Uh, the first ones I like a lot and I've had these for a while so I'm not sure I don't remember if I put these in my last sneaker collection video um, but these are the Chanel sneakers I really like these but I don't wear them very often they're not super comfortable but they are very cute though <laughs> so um, I'll put them on if I know I'm not gonna do a ton of walking they're very light color I crap protected them a long time ago though so they haven't gotten any dirtier than they were when I wore them before I crap protected them um, but I like these a lot these are a cool part of my collection I don't see myself really selling these unless I get another pair of Chanel sneakers. Chanel sneakers are kind of something that I had wanted for a really long time. So when I got these, I've been holding on to them. I've had these for years now. And I really do want to get another pair, but maybe a low top pair so it'll be more comfortable. The part that bothers me is just the top. It's very stiff up here. So there's not too much like flexibility and it kind of rubs against your ankle or rubs against you even when you're wearing socks. So um, not the greatest for comfort, but I think they're really cute. I would buy another pair of Chanel sneakers um, if I do see some. And then these ones, I have very mixed feelings about these. I bought these on sale also while I was in Hawaii. Um, these are the Rihanna Fenty. I don't know if they have a specific, I think they're called the Bow Sneaker maybe. 
um, but I bought these when I was out there. They're a cream color. I have not worn these yet. I'm not even sure how I feel about these yet. I think I bought them mainly because they were on sale. Let me see if the tag is still in here. Yeah, they were on sale for $59 at Nordstrom Rack. And I'm pretty sure that the box is why I bought them. And also because I had never seen them on sale before. So <laughs> I got these. I don't know if I regret it yet. I don't know if I'm going to try and sell them. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try and find an outfit that's going to work with them. But... I really need to do something. I think I might try them. It's kind of outside of my comfort zone. It's not really something that I would normally wear, but sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes you get to step out your comfort zone. So we'll see what happens with these. I'm not really sure yet. And then on the other side of things, obviously this, these are not sneakers, but I got these as well. Um, and so I think they were like $29 when I got them at Nordstrom Rack 2. Uh, these are the Puma Fenty Slides. I love these, love, love, love these. And they are getting a little bit dirty, so I think I might get another pair just in case I can't find them for a while. Um, but I really like these a lot. So out of both of those purchases, worn these a ton of times, worn those zero times, but hey, it is what it is. And then I went to an outlet and I bought a few pairs of Vans. Uh, the first ones I'm not going to go too much in detail with. These are just the classic, regular black Vans because I live in California. So now I had to have some of these because, um, you know, it's a thing. But the other ones, they had a sale that was buy one original and get the second pair half off or something like that. And so I bought the original pair that I showed you guys. And then I also got these. These are from the Snoopy collection. And I love Snoopy, and I've been wanting these for a while, but I wasn't really willing to spend like $75 for a pair of fans that I probably won't wear that often, because I don't normally wear fans. But um, I got these. They're so cute to me. <laughs> I absolutely love these. Um, I've been wanting these for, like I said, a really long time, and they have a little Peanuts logo on the inside. They are super cute, and I think I paid maybe $30 for them, because they were half off at the outlet after I bought the other pair. So for like less than $100, got two pairs of shoes, and hey, one that I'll probably wear a lot, one that I probably won't wear that much, but I really, really like them. All right, and that's actually everything. Oh, wait, that's not everything. I'm going to show you guys what I got at the Nike pop-up today. Um, all it really was was a pop-up based on the new Air Max 270. So they had, I think it was called, it was called Air Moves LA something like that uh, I could be wrong on the name but I'll put it up here um, but it was a really cool little art gallery that you could walk through there was a little bit of gift short gift store in the back so I got a few things there that I want to show you guys all right so the first one was based off of one of the paintings that was in there so it's actually just a um, basic Nike um, t-shirt it's a dry fit shirt and it has one of the paintings on it and I thought that this was so cute I absolutely love this and I figured that I'll wear this shirt quite a bit I don't want to get it dirty or anything like that or messed up but um, I thought it was really cute. Had to get this. And oh, and I forgot to show you too. On the sleeve, it says um, Los Angeles Nike Air Gallery on it, if you can see it. I thought that was pretty cool too. So I figured, you know, why not? And then the other thing that I got was just fun. Um, I got two beach balls, and I don't even know how you open these. I would show them to you guys, but. Oh, here we go. They're just little beach balls. They were $5, so I just picked up two of them. Um, I'll probably inflate them a little bit later and just kind of like put them around the apartment. Um, they can be super cute. <laughs> okay, so now that is all that I have for you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll certainly be doing more sneaker videos like this in the future, so stay tuned. Bye, guys.